Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn how to add the Google Maps in the Next.js 14. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So this is the Google Map that we have integrated. So let's dive into the code level. So here we have the code and which package we have used. That is React Google Maps API. So this is a TX file. Okay. So make sure you have to add the use client. Okay, import React from the React Google Map. Use API JS loader, map marker info window. Okay, the container style. So you can customize accordingly whatever height and width you require. Then we have a center option that lat and the long. And this is your marker data with position, title, and the content. Make sure you have to correctly type the types of that one. Okay, that we have an interface, right? Marker data. Then Google Map component where we have the use API API use JS API loader. So here we have to pass the Google Maps API key to make sure you have the Google Map API key, right? After that, we have the use state and then selected marker. So these are the states. Then we have the marker data with the lat. Uh, what uh, here? This is the one data that I want to show that is currently you are seeing seeing that one. So this is the one data that. Uh, here I have pass that is the position and the title and the content. Okay, then on load. So first of all, let's go to the this is the return is loaded. So this is the Google map component here. You can see where we have a map container style center zoom on load and on mount. Right. And here we have the markers. What whenever uh, if you have the array of objects is multiple, then you can loop that one. If you have a one, then up to you. Okay. So we have the marker. If you want to show the marker, then you have to pass the key position. And when whenever we have a handle marker, click. So whenever I click on this one, there would be an info window. Okay. So when I click on that one, so here you can see that the info window will come when we do the selected marker. Okay. This is done. After that, we have to export default the Google Map component. Okay. And uh, above we have the handle marker, click, and the on mount. Okay. So this is how you are able to add the google maps into your next yes application any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day